Can you make the shot when you must? James Gunn is going over to DC to make another miscast movie team like Guardians of the Galaxy with the Suicide Squad and Jon Favreau is going to be the Mandalorian on Disney's new streaming service right now on Miscast Entertainment News! Welcome back, you miscast misfits, to another episode of Miscast Movie News with your host, JJ. Hey, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. And Greg. <laughs> we definitely never said that before. <laughs> and blue boy, Billy, Billy, blue boy, more. <laughs> Why are you blue? I'm blue that... that oh, because you're wearing a blue shirt. ...that James Gunn is going to the other side. Oh, my so God. that makes me blue. You're not as blue as Marvel, probably. I don't think they care. Disney doesn't care. They're a powerhouse. They really don't care. Don't make their money else. James Gunn starts making billions for dc they're gonna care no do, do you think james gunn is the savior for dc do you no. think he's I like mean, the, the jesus christ for dc well listen i think that um okay. they need one for I, that, I, I agree for okay. that series so maybe. so for <laughs> anybody who doesn't already know uh dc has signed james gunn to write and possibly direct a follow-up to suicide squad which is supposed to be right now it's being reported to be a quote-unquote fresh take not but, a direct sequel. But it's still, it's still called Suicide Squad 2, though, uh, isn't it? No, I mean, that's just what people are calling it right now. Okay. It's probably going to be Suicide Squad, Squad yeah. Up or some bullshit yeah. like that. You know what I mean? But, um, pajami Jam. Yeah, pajami, uh, Suicide Squad, Pajami Jam. Um, I like that title. That's a good title. That is a good title. Pass that on. Yeah. Um, I think that they should give him a Zack Snyder-type role within a DC Universe. Zack Snyder was like the uh, kingpin there for a while. He was Man of Steel... Uh, Justice League sure. until uh, you know the tragic event that he went through and uh, um, what's his name who took over for him the, well uh, I was going to bring that up because uh, Marvel already has had a crossover and that was Joss Whedon and look what happened so there's what happened just well, Justice, Justice League he came happened. in and did Justice League <laughs> after um, um, uh, Zack Snyder's daughter committed suicide yeah, Joss um. Whedon did Avengers then came over to DC and did Justice League and it was a disaster you couldn't yes. piece together because yeah. no one knew what really Snyder wanted to do whatever he proved that he can take a band of of you know misfit, misfit. characters and make them something really awesome that everybody's going to get behind yeah. so I have a lot of hope you know unfortunately now that with his stigma there's going to be a lot of drop off from that initial buzz that he had with Guardians in 2014. And now I think that he's going to lose at least 30 percent of anybody that was following him then. So any kind of like power he had before is gone, because even though we think that it's a bunch of bull crap of what happened to him, there's at least 30 percent, 40 percent of the people out there fan wise that don't. They think the opposite. So. Uh, I don't know. I disagree with that. I think people are going to be more interested to see this. And it's, of course, it's all going to depend on the trailers and stuff that come out then. But I think people are going to be more interested to see this, um, especially because of the buzz surrounding Gun yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Shit, I mean, yeah. We're going to be excited to see what he brings I'm to excited. the table if, if he directs. Keep in mind, when <clears throat> before James Gunn came aboard, nobody gave a flying crap about Guardians of the Galaxy. Right, that's when right we point. first heard about Guardians Misfits. of the Galaxy, like, who cares? Right, who? Nobody cares about these characters. Right. But the thing about that thing that's very different. If you were if you were to go back ten years and say, "Oh, who do you care more about, the Suicide Squad or Guardians of the Galaxy?" F far more people would care more about the Suicide Squad than Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, because yeah, they would. So the know. fact that James Gunn turned that around completely right. is a great <laughs> statement on James Gunn. And if, if he could do th what he did for Guardians to Suicide Squad, then I think we got a hit. I think that's what everybody's going to want to want. Well, it's, I think. It's I not, think oh, I, go ahead. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I think you can. With him on board, I think you can almost guarantee that it's going to be better than the first one because the first one was a colossal piece of shit. Yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, if you can tell me who shot down their helicopter in Suicide Squad, I will... Please comment below because nobody knows. You're obsessed Greg, with if that. I, if <laughs> I was to direct the next Guardi uh, the next Suicide yeah, Squad, I think it, it be might be better. It I might agree. be better. Well, yeah. I, I would agree with that. If you yeah. reboot your own series before it's even three years old, that's pretty freaking bad, dude. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> it needs to happen. I don't think anybody's going to complain about that. No, no, they're not, but it's it's a colossal failure. I think yeah, the, sure. I, and I think maybe the only people they the person they bring back is probably going to be Haley Quinn in this one, Harley Quinn. 
um, well, Margot Robbie. Yeah, sure. Because of that, uh, the Birds of Prey movie they also have coming out too. Sure. Um, but my personal opinion, I thought she was awful in the first one too. I thought the jokes were awful that she had. I, anyway, so I'm not. I don't. If they, if she doesn't come back, I'm perfectly fine with her that. as a character. I think is salvageable. Her performance in that movie was suspect. Right. So I get you there. She, discarding her accent from where she was born in the animated series with the, you know, New York accent right. was a that was a disaster. That mm -hmm. was a, that was a travesty to everything. If there was no Batman, there'd be no Joker, and I'd never have met my pun. I should kill everyone and escape. Sorry. The voices. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's not what they really said. No, daddy doesn't even get to touch mommy for a very, very, very long time. I hope he I hope he rectifies that. If they're gonna redo it, maybe give her that accent back. We'll see. We'll see if she's even in this I one hope because it's supposed it to be a fresh take and we'll see what happens. And put uh, Joaquin in there as the Joker instead That'd of be cool. <laughs> instead of just throwing that out there. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> His Joker I'm, I'm liking his Joker more and more yeah. every time oh, I yeah, see yeah. it. So. It looks much better than, yeah. than Leto for sure. All right, what's next? All right, so next, uh, we didn't have a news program last week, so we got to bring it up, was uh, the John Favreau's The Mandalorian. He's released a couple of images from that. You see, uh, we saw a picture of the, uh, the Mandalorian himself. We don't know if he's a bounty hunter. We don't know really what the role is, if it's going to place, take place on Mandalore. It's rumored that um, Pedro Pascal, the Viper, from Game of Thrones is going to play this lead character, although we still don't know yet. Okay. Um, you've got Dave Filoni, who uh, is the director who is responsible for Rebels, Clone Wars, and the new Star Wars Resistance uh, cartoon. He's directing the first episode. Can we not mention Dave Filoni too much because William start, is starting to get a boner right now. I know, now. I know. So I can see like I, the I'm, table I'm, elevating a little bit. I'm trying to breeze past it. So. Yes. So he's directing the first episode. You also have Taiki what. Taika Waititi oh, from good. Thor Ragnarok, yes. who's going to direct an episode or two, and also appear in an episode uh, or have a role within the within the show, and also Bryce Dallas Howard, Ron Howard's daughter, yeah, uh, is going to direct an episode or two. He also released an image of the um, which you only you see the butt end of the rifle in <laughs> the uh, <laughs> in the first image of the uh, of Mandalore. Uh, it's right there. Oh, cool. Um, but then you, uh, John Favreau also released a uh, second image, a close-up of the rifle, which looks a lot like the uh, rifle that Boba Fett used in the uh, first, in his debut animated short uh. of the Star Wars Holiday Special way back when. Oh, yes. So it looks just like the Who could forget that? Well, it's right here. <laughs> so, um, or right there, or right there. Um, so it looks, I'm, I am super, super pumped about this. Oh. about this show but uh, I'm excited to see what they can do with a 10 hour you know long form TV show well let me explain to you Mugs why this is cool and dumb at the same time oh, please I want to hear the dumb All part right. of it Boba Fett sucks cool Boba and Fett's dumb a, Boba cool. Fett's a dumb character Boba Fett's man is probably not even in it it's All not right. even so about he, he rummages in garbage and he finds people and he follows them and he gives them over to the cool people like Darth Vader but he and then he's he a bounty hunter. then when he actually gets to show his metal, he gets kicked into a freaking Sarlacc pit. Loser. Yeah, they did so, him dirty in Return of the Jedi. So I you know he put a bad stain on that Mandalorian costume right off the bat. The only reason it's a good story is because of what they did in Rebels, because of Dave Filoni. <laughs> <laughs> well. So Sabine, look how excited one. Sa Sabine, how Sabine, I'm, show up in the Mandalorian. I'm just gonna like bail out for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God anyway. Dave is, is directing anyway, the first episode. <laughs> and uh, with John Favreau behind the helm, you know, he started the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, you got to give the guy credit where credit's due. So if he's going to do a series with Disney on their streaming launch, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a subscriber and I'm going to watch. So I, that's how that goes. I have faith in John Favreau. He's pretty much been, uh, you know, up there. He's put out A plus work. Since Iron Man. Yeah, uh, I mean, listen. Well, some John, swingers, <laughs> some swingers for sure. Swingers, he for was sure. he was the best part of swingers. He was better than uh, Vince, Vaughn. Vince Vaughn because that he grows up and he grows up. And he, he grows, grows up, up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When he did that that uh, bunch of babies that scene with the <laughs> yeah, uh, the leaving the messages. Oh my god, 
That was the first time I ever saw cringe. That's the most cringe. <laughs> yeah. I learned what cringe was yeah. yes. in that scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But it was good. It was good. Yeah. So he's great. So I, I, I have faith in John Favreau and uh and I'm excited about this show. So. Yeah, I'm down, man. And so uh and then lastly we got um John Carpenter. John Carpenter shitting on Big Trouble in Little China remake. Right? Yeah, there's a there's a Big Trouble in Little China remake. Not a remake per se. Uh, well, like a sequel. Right. But um Apparently, he is not happy that The Rock is going to be in the movie. Now, I like The Rock in a lot of roles. I thought he was great in... I thought he was a great addition to the Fast and Furious roles. Right. He was like a big like fucking meathead. He had a good personality. But, dude, that's all he's good for. He's not like a good action hero. He, d- he doesn't have... What? He, uh, I, mean, I disagree. You disagree? Yeah. Have you seen the movie where he climbs on the fucking building? No, I have not. Have you seen seen Rampage? Yes. Yeah, Yeah, I actually liked Rampage. (laughs) Rampage was actually fun. I went in. I went to Rampage with very low. I was like, "This is gonna suck," and it was fun. You go in there for an experience. You don't go in there for a story. If you go in there for, there's certain movies that you go into knowing it's a meathead movie. You you know, it's just what it is. I personally, I don't really want to see another Big Trouble in Little China with The Rock. I don't. Um, Nobody I, does. I don't. I don't. No. I think that uh, no, because that's not fun. That's a, no. That's a bastardization Chris, of your with childhood. With Chris Pratt in it, because so. uh, yeah, Dave, Dave Bautista. Bautista was saying, "Hey, dude, you should put Chris Pratt in that movie." I like how he did that. Now I could say was Dave Bautista. Yes, <laughs> that's my <laughs> Dave Bautista it. impression. <laughs> well, actually, this is my this is my Dave Bautista impression. I'm invisible. What? And for those that don't know, the story is supposed to be that. It's not going to be the same characters. The Rock is playing a separate character and uh, within the same universe. Probably with, probably there's going to be a new Lopan or something like that or a new sure. Three Elements or something like that. They need know? to, res- if they're going to do it, resurrect the old guys. I want Raiden. I want Lopan. Actually, don't. Actually, don't. Don't bastardize them, too. Yeah. Come up with something Although, new. I, I don't see how they can They could really be all about the otherwise. spider thing that came out of that hole <laughs> in the pit and sucked that guy or in. Or the Beholder thing with the eyes. You remember well, for the dead. Dungeons and Dragons yeah. fans? Yeah, I have the Beholder. Uh, I have the Beholder. Yeah. Thing, yeah. Well, didn't they kill that thing? with the? Yeah, yeah, oh, no, yeah. it ran away. He stabbed him and it yeah, ran away. there's more than one. I don't remember. Yeah. But, it's uh, over there. It's got to be. Suicide is What's up? What's up? Oh, shit. All right, guys. That's it. That's, that's what we got for the news. That's it. You know? That's it, yo. Go home. Hey. All right, Miss Koreans. That's going to do the episode. And uh, as always, if you're not on the channel, head on over to the channel and hit that subscribe button. If you're on the channel, hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell next to it so you get notified of future episodes. <laughs> and uh, head on over to our website, MissCastEntertainment.com. We have articles all okay. the time. Check some of that out. Uh, we also have merch. Merch. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Alright guys. Peace! Oh, can we do this and put the put put the hole in? Oh! Oh! Did you catch that shit? Yes! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, wait, it's not going in. Oh there you that's go. That's that's the problem that you have. <laughs> and there you go, you got the residue. Oh shit! <laughs>